So I'm Elita Horataski from Kavita Dental College, and I am here to present my topic on a narrative review on laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy in document examination. Document examination is done in various methods. You may wonder why have I taken specifically the laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy to analyze the document. Basically, the laser-induced spectroscopy uh, is an, an atomic emission which uses laser beam to determine the elemental composition of the ink and then it also helps in determining the depth of the ink uh, which is being used. Basically, this laser induced breakdown spectroscopy compared to the other spectroscopical methods such as we have the X-ray fluorescence spectroscopy and then we have Raman spectroscopy and we have certain uh, coupled uh, chain spectroscopical methods and all, which uses ionizing radiation. Whereas laser induced breakdown spectroscopy uses atomic radiation, which is not more destructible compared to the other uh, radiation. So if you, it is non-destructible method and also it uses very minimal material to determine the specimen structure and regardless of its physical state. Well, let me say, how have I uh, come across uh, this with the collection of the data done previously. Well, this is a narrative review conducted where the database was only PubMed, where ranging from 2010 to 2020 articles were being collected based on the mesh terms, such as we have forensic, document investigation, laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy, and then lives. Well, keeping on this mesh terms, we also used the Boolean marker A and D and uh, as a Boolean marker to determine the mesh terms. Well, so what and all articles were being got? Nearly 14 articles were being received based on this mesh terms. But when we came across with the aim of the study, that is to analyze the lips used in determination of various things and origin of documents, we uh, limited the articles based on such abstracts and the full text uh, presence. Uh, nearly four articles we concluded. And the uh, articles based on Synchrony F et al. He tells that the he used nearly 14 commercial ballpoint pens, uh, such as from the BCI crystal, and then we have Steeter tripless ball, and then we have paper made pens, and then we have pencil super eight. Uh, compared to the, uh, he compared these uh, four companies with which he came to a conclusion saying that using all this, we could compare the depth as well as the uh, ink used in the thing, and it also helps us to determine the ink aging, and then it also helps us to determine the spacing done in between the usage of the inks. And uh, next, we have the other author saying that he told that he had determined the latent fingerprint depth in the uh, document examination. So basically, which is uh, more interesting as uh, like, Every document will be having certain latent fingerprint and latent palm prints, uh, which could also be determined to see whether it has been manipulated or its original document. Well, so in keeping upon his uh, study, he had uh, checked for right thumb print because that only we use basically to sign in the document. So keeping on that, he also find a correct depth of the uh, rich uh, thumb print. And uh, if it is not the if he has the uh, not been able to classify at uh, classify it as the unfavorable prints. Well, uh, depending upon the Kula at all 2018, he has also taken nearly 34 blue po blue point pens and then 30 black and 21 red pens. Okay, basically in which he has uh, taken the same like BCI Atlantis Galaxy Silver. All these uh, commercial inks were being taken to determine the. Uh, depth as well as the uh, ink constituent, elemental constituents in the ink. So, which helps us to determine the uh, if whether it has been manipulated or not. Well, as per the previous fellow uh, fellow participant had told that only inorganic uh, composition can be determined with uh, lips, whereas uh, depending upon Kulas at all, he tells that organometallic pigments can also be determined with the lips. So it, uh, it is basically a controversial thing which has been uh, put forward by the fellow participants. Well, next we have the Nami el where she says that the uh, 10 black gel pens they have taken, in which they have also determined the same parameters such as the depth of the uh, depth of the ink used and then the elemental composition. Basically, the way, depending upon the wavelengths, the composition of the elements can be more particularly studied and the characterization how much we do. And basically, as this is a non-destructible and it gives the result more easily within few seconds uh, and then it is more sensitive and gives an accurate result, LIPS uh, stands more pro predominant compared to other spectroscopical methods. Hence, uh, this uh, method is more preferable than other spectroscopical method to determine the elemental composition as well as the uh, 
uh, we can determine the document uh, with the depth of the ink used and then the ink elemental composition and the ink aging. And then we could also see the latent fingerprints depth, uh, depth and then the uh, and uh, previous studies uh, hadn't considered about the lateral palm print. So I'm more interested to go with the lateral palm print even that can be checked if it is possible. As uh, the ellipse doesn't uh, define any, like it doesn't need any physical state, we could check even the latent palm print also, sir. So this is what is my final state. Thank you.